I mean, you Absolutely. must have had to find out what the equipment they used yeah. and and also the problems. You yeah. know, my mother had me out of wedlock in the yeah. 50s and it was terrible. So Awful. You, so all that research, how did you cope with that? It's... I love it. I, it's a real privilege doing this job because just when you think... You know, a lot of people call it nostalgia. I don't actually agree. I think if it was nostalgia, it would make everything rosy. But every now and again, it fools you into this thing of saying, oh, this is a beautiful world and everyone's nice. Then it Not, hits you with yeah, these attitudes. Yeah, yeah. And in a funny way, related to something <clears> you've been <throat> talking about earlier, my character smokes like a chimney. Now, yeah, I don't that's smoke. What I was going to ask you. Yeah. I don't like smoking. Yeah. But I smoke, and I quite like that touch because it's one of those funny things. Even pregnant women have smoked on the series. Yeah. And every now and again, you have these little cues to say, we didn't know so much. Yeah. Things were yeah. less yeah. enlightened yeah. then. And you know, the world you live in now has come on and in many ways still has some challenges. Mm. But it's bit. come on, it's mm. not the good old days. And you, you, know, I, you I believe, mm. you, were, you yourself were delivered by a midwife who yes. was on a bicycle. I was. <laughs> oh, I love that. And she was a classic midwife on a bike. She came in the worst snowstorm, because I was born in that 63, which is apparently the worst, one of the worst winters in the century. But she'd taken a sleeping pill, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> my mum says, so she'd gone off to bed, then been called out on duty through snow on a bike. I don't know how that works. She was in a foul mood, so apparently I was born apologising. <laughs> 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 <laughs>